Jeremiah E. Monell was sentenced Friday to life in prison without parole in the December 2016 murder of his estranged wife, Tara O'Shea Watson. The pain, thought, and images will always be there with us. I hope that every day you are in jail, you will have to live with remembering what you have done. I believe that after today, the only real closure is that Tara will no longer live in fear of you. She is at peace. I know that you will no longer be able to hurt another human being the way you have hurt my sister. No one will live in fear or pain from your crucial and inhumane ways. Kids talk about how they love or hate their mother, but whenever they talk about their mother, I just want mine back. Sometimes I wake up, I have to wake up and remember that my mother isn't here. And so I think you are right where you belong. You can't hurt her, me, or Sarah anymore. Thank God you are going where you can never harm another person. You are finally going to answer for all the evil, lying, cheating, stealing, cruel, and abusive things you have done. And you will still have to answer to God for your crimes and the broken commandments. You broke all of those commandments, and the worst being honored thy mother and thy father. They raised you so be as best they could on those commandments, and thou shalt not kill. Enjoy the life you have given yourself, and remember every second day and year why you were there. The only good thing that came of all this is the children are safe and very much loved, and the memory of their mother is taught with respect and happiness, not terror and fear. Goodbye and continued prayers, you, are, you get all you deserve. Tara's mother, Emily. Thank you, ma'am. One took Tara away from her friends, <coughs> from her relatives, from her mother and her children. Stand, the defendant stands before you for the court to be sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of being free again. The tables have turned and the defendant has lost control. Thank you to the court and state news for sentencing. Thank you, Mr. Wilson.